30, a 16-year-old Westfield resident making strides in the science world, working to create an enzyme that breaks down plastic. Western Mass News reporter Libby James has more on her story. Ellie's just done such a beautiful job, and she's just so, if you talk to her about the project, obviously, you know she understands it very well, what she's doing. Elizabeth Hanacek, better known as Ellie, is a 16-year-old who has dedicated her free time researching ways to break down plastics quickly. Perfect. The Westfield native signed up for a program that allows her to work in the lab with a professor from Westfield State University. She joined Dr. Kim Berman six months ago and has made strides in her research. When I read her proposal, I just thought, this is a, this is not a high school science fair project. This is a college level. Ellie tells Western Mass News that she's always been interested in science. My grandmother, the summer before I started high school, bought me a four ocean bracelet, which is made out of recycled ocean plastic. And I scanned the little QR code on the back of the tag and I started doing some research on plastic and it just really broke my heart that there was so much pollution in the world and that there was so little to be done about it. That is when she decided to find a solution using an enzyme called cutinase that has already been established to break down plastics. Her mission is to enhance it in order to break down plastics faster and more efficiently. I think of it as a stone wall. Uh, a protein, it's or, or an enzyme is a specialized kind of protein, is kind of like the stone wall itself. And then every little stone that makes up the stone wall is called an amino acid. Those are the building blocks of a protein. And in between all of those amino acids, there are these things called disulfide bridges, which add stability, kind of like cement in between stones that make sure that it doesn't fall apart. Ellie's goal is to get rid of the so-called cement, trying to make the walls less stable. Her end goal is to develop an affordable machine that uses her enzyme to take plastic waste in third world countries and turn it into something valuable, such as fertilizer or water. Her advice for those who want to chase their dreams is to be stubborn. You really have to be persistent. It's so easy to give up and there will be lots of people uh, telling you it's not worth it. Don't don't try it. Um, but yeah, if you're just obstinate the entire time and really be open to criticism and feedback, but make sure that your goals are achieved. Just stay with it. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Libby James.